Hey guys, I just wanted to make this little video to show you some amps I got coming in from homemade solar solar panels here. Micro Hydro. A little over half an amp from that. 24 hours a day. Store bought panels. It's only quarter to ten in the morning right now. This gauge will be up around nine amps a little bit later. And down here we got wind amps, which probably won't move because I got the camera out. A couple minutes ago we had a few amps coming in in the wind. But I think today is going to be a good day for the alternative energy. This round gauge just shows me what I'm dumping into the grid tie inverter which is here I usually don't connect that up until I got some good amps coming in from everything so right now I'm just charging a battery bank I had this battery bank drawn right down I had it wired as 24 volts last night going through this grid tie inverter so I pushed about 230 watts for about two and a half hours so that dropped my batteries right down but now I got them coming back up 12.3, 3.4 amps. The amperage is combined with the store bought solar, the micro hydro, and the homemade solar panels. Take a little walk outside, I'll show you where all these amps are coming from. I wish we could get some wind amps here. I know as soon as I walk out of here, that gauge will start moving. Alrighty. That's why we're not getting any wind damps right now. The wind turbines kind of slowed down for the moment. See, it's just starting to take off now. Sure, we'll get some good power out of this thing later on today. Just starting to spin now. I'll check back in a minute. We'll walk around the back here. This little windmill here is just stuck on one of my horseshoe stakes. I was just messing around with it. It's just a little DC motor some aluminum blades needs to have some gear reduction to do anything but I just wanted to see what it would do here's my homemade solar panels bought the cells from solarcells101.com Hard to see, got some reflections, which I shouldn't have, apparently. Someone mentioned something about acid washing the glass that's on these, so we don't get such a reflection. You can see the sun starting to hit them now. And I got more panels, store bots, up on the roof. Up there, there's six. 15 watt panels and one 80 watt panel. Down here I got three more 15 watt panels, which I haven't mounted anywhere yet. Those three 15, mount, 15 watt there and my homemade ones might end up on the ground somewhere on it. Try to make a solar tracker, sun tracker. Take a little walk down to the little stream I got here. Show you the uh, Micro Hydro. You may have seen some of my other videos. I used to have this setup built onto a bicycle frame, but kind of refabricated it onto a trailer hub. It's a little more rugged. The old bicycle frame setup worked pretty good, but it wasn't 
very rugged, so the bearings would wear out in about a half a year. Actually, yesterday we had some wicked heavy rain. Blew out a little bit of my dam here. So, later on I gotta get back down here and work on this. But this is a refabricated... The generator is actually on a hub now from a trailer. The water wheel. Let's see if I can go over here without falling in the brook. You guys will probably get a kick out of me falling in the brook anyway, so... Alright. I got this piece of pipe that I... Got clamped down here. It just comes up through here. Got it welded as a 90 on top. This way I can move that pipe up and down if I want to mess around with my uh, gear reduction on these pulleys here. Just a belt drive. 18 inch bicycle rim. And then the pulley up top is just some aluminum pulley that I had up in my shop. It's nice down here though. Seems like it's going to be a good day. I'm pretty sure I should be able to put out at least uh, maybe 14 amps today with all my stuff going. Like I said, I dump it into the battery bank for a few hours in the morning when I don't have that many amps coming in. Later on I'll switch over to the grid tie inverter. I can usually dump about 120 watts for four, three or four hours probably, maybe five hours. Of course it's winter time now so the sun goes down early. If you look behind me here, I got some trees blocking the sun so once the sun comes around those trees the solar really starts to work well. Let's see what the wind turbine's doing on our way back in. Alright guys, I know this video is getting a little bit long, but it just seemed like a nice day to get some readings. And yeah, the turbine's cranking pretty good now. Let's see. It's going alright. Actually, it's probably only doing about 80 RPMs right now. I was hoping I could get some amps coming in from that. Like I said before, usually when I get the camera out, I never see any wind amps coming in for some reason. Alright, we'll just take one more check down here and see if we can get any wind amps, just so you guys know that it does actually produce some power. Need the amp gauge for the wind turbine here. Well, I don't think today's gonna be our lucky day. I was hoping I could get all three wind, solar, and micro hydro. Micro hydro. These are my homemade panels. Of course the sun's not hitting them now. These are the store bots. Alright guys, my video's getting a little bit long here. I don't want to bore you. Thanks for watching.